Jane, have you ever tried gourmet cooking? It's a culinary art that can really gratify the palate. I haven't, John. But I've heard it can create some mouth-watering dishes. I'd love to savor the flavors of different cuisines. Absolutely, the delectable tastes and aromas mingle together to create an exquisite experience. And it's even better when the ingredients are sustainable. That sounds divine, John. I've heard that umami is a flavor that gourmet chefs often try to achieve. Yes, and they often use techniques like simmering to infuse flavors and create a pleasing mouthfeel. A hearty stew, for example, can be made more robust by simmering the ingredients together. And what about textures, John? I love a crunchy salad with crisp vegetables. Texture is important too, Jane. A tender steak or a crispy piece of fried chicken can be just as satisfying as the flavors themselves. I agree, John. And I love to saute vegetables. It brings out a piquant flavor that's really enjoyable. Absolutely, Jane. And there's nothing like the sizzling sound of food in a hot pan. It's a wholesome experience. I also love the aromatic smells that come from cooking. It's like getting a scoop of the meal before you even taste it. Yes, and whether the flavors are mild or strong, it's always a pleasure to indulge in a well-cooked meal. I couldn't agree more, John. And I love to stir-fry. The quick cooking process helps the flavors to mingle. And don't forget about the sour and tangy flavors, Jane. They can really add a zesty kick to a dish. Absolutely, John. And I love a good braise. The slow cooking process makes the meat so succulent. Yes, and the sear on a piece of meat can add so much crispness. It's a divine contrast to the tender interior. And the garnish on a dish can add so much, John. It's like the finishing touch. Absolutely, Jane. Every mouthful should be a delight. And the sizzle of a dish as it's served can really make your mouth water. I agree, John. And I think it's important that our food is sustainable. It's better for us and for the planet. Absolutely, Jane. A well-seasoned dish that's mouth-watering and sustainable is the ultimate goal. Jane, have you ever tried any exotic cuisines from different countries? I have, John. I've tried Italian cuisine, which is known for its hearty pasta dishes and zesty sauces. That sounds delicious, Jane. I've tried Japanese cuisine. The sustainable sushi and crisp tempura are truly mouth-watering. I've heard about that, John. And what about Indian cuisine? The aromatic spices and robust flavors really infuse the dishes. Absolutely, Jane. The sizzling curries and tangy chutneys are a delight to the palate. And the stir-fry techniques used in Chinese cuisine are also quite fascinating. I agree, John. The crispy spring rolls and succulent dumplings are a real treat. And let's not forget about Mexican cuisine, with its piquant salsas and crunchy tacos. Yes, Jane. The meld of flavors in a good taco is truly divine. And the garnish of fresh herbs adds a nice touch. I couldn't agree more, John. Each cuisine has its own unique mouthfeel and flavors that gratify the senses. Absolutely, Jane.
It's a joy to indulge in the diverse cuisines of the world. Each mouthful is an adventure. Well said, John. Exploring different cuisines is like taking a culinary journey around the world. Jane, my favorite cuisine has to be Italian. The hearty pasta dishes, crisp pizzas, and exquisite gelato really gratify my palate. The way the flavors mingle in a simple yet delectable spaghetti aglio e olio is just divine. That sounds wonderful, John. As for me, I'm a big fan of Thai cuisine. The zesty tom yum soup, succulent pad thai, and aromatic green curry are truly mouthwatering. I love how they infuse herbs and spices to create such robust flavors. Thai cuisine sounds exotic, Jane. I've heard their use of umami flavors is quite unique. Absolutely, John. And the sizzle of a hot plate of pad kra pao is enough to make anyone's mouth water. It's a wholesome experience. I'll have to try it sometime, Jane. Exploring different cuisines is like a culinary adventure. I couldn't agree more, John. It's a joy to savor the diverse flavors of the world. Jane, have you ever tried any diet cuisines? They can be quite wholesome and satisfying. Yes, John. I've tried the Mediterranean diet. It's known for its sustainable ingredients like olive oil, fresh fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. It's a mouth-watering and healthy choice. That sounds exquisite, Jane. I've heard that the flavors really mingle well in Mediterranean dishes. And the crisp salads and tender grilled fish are quite delectable. Absolutely, John. And the aromatic herbs used in the cuisine add a zesty touch. It's a great way to indulge in good food while staying healthy. I agree, Jane. I've tried the paleo diet. It focuses on hearty meats, fruits, and vegetables, and avoids processed foods. The robust flavors and crunchy textures are truly gratifying. That sounds divine, John. And it's great that these diets not only focus on taste, but also on health. It's a sizzling trend in the culinary world. Absolutely, Jane. And the best part is, these diets don't make you give up on taste. Every mouthful is a delight. Well said, John. Eating healthy doesn't mean you have to compromise on taste. It's all about finding the right balance. Jane, about paleo, have you heard about the paleo diet? It's based on the eating habits of our ancestors from the Paleolithic era, which was before the advent of agriculture. I've heard of it. John. Isn't it also known as the caveman diet, or the hunter-gatherer diet? That's right, Jane. The paleo diet includes lean meats, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, foods that in the past could be obtained by hunting and gathering. So, it excludes foods that became common when farming emerged, like dairy products legumes, and grains. Exactly, Jane. The idea is that the human body is genetically mismatched to the modern diet that emerged with farming practices. Farming changed what people ate and established dairy, grains, and legumes as additional staples in the human diet. That's interesting, John. But isn't it challenging to follow such a diet in today's times? It can be, Jane. But the focus is on eating whole, unprocessed foods. 
And while it does restrict certain food groups, it doesn't require counting calories or macronutrients. Sounds like a sustainable and healthy approach to eating, John. I might give it a try. That's the spirit, Jane. Remember, it's not just about losing weight, but also about leading a healthier lifestyle.